Welcome to Eco Ask Why, a podcast that dives into industrial manufacturing topics and spotlights the heroes that keep America running. I'm your host, Chris Granger, and on this podcast, we do not cover the latest features and benefits on products that come to market. Instead, we focus on advice and insight from the top minds of industry because people and ideas will be how America remains number one in manufacturing in the world. Welcome to Eco Ask Why. I'm your host, Chris Granger, and looking forward to hanging out with everyone today. We're going to be unpacking the idea of how account management inside of an e-commerce solution can really unlock some really incredible things for you. So we've been talking a lot on Eco Ask Why for the last few months around e-commerce and how you could, could be utilizing that to make better buying decisions, how you can enable the people with inside your facilities to, to ultimately get the resources they need when they need it. And we're going to look today about account management, what that can do for us uh, down to a, the, the very minute details of moving forward, okay? Now, we just need to first realize that e-commerce solutions have really evolved far beyond just simple online purchasing platforms. Okay. That's, that's really a fundamental item we need to take, take in, a, in consideration because in today's distributor world, advanced account management features, they give you a huge array of functionalities that go to a lot of diverse needs out there. Okay. And we're going to be talking today specifically about purchasing, engineering, logistics, and installation. And we're going to have, there's a lot of tools, particularly tools within an electrical equipment company that you can utilize to optimize your operations and start streamlining, streamlining some workflows. And ultimately, it's going to enhance your efficiency, okay? So if we want to think about this from a high-level standpoint, account management in an e-commerce solution or, or platform, if you will, gives you insight to tools that you need to to understand your interactions, your transactions, and the data that you have available to you. Now you're the end user, you're the customer, so you have the you have the data. Do you have access to it to utilize it in a way that you ultimately could leverage and, and learn from? And there's lots of things with platforms out there, particularly the platforms that we use in an electric equipment company, that can integrate different functionalities that help you to not only get purchasing information so far as purchasing products, but allows you to tie much deeper into your history, things that you've done in the past, as well as some things you should, should consider for the future. So this is a comprehensive approach. So when you think about account management, think big picture, okay? And it's going to help you stay organized. It's going to help you stay informed and competitive. And we know all those areas are super important in the heavy uh, industrial world that we that we live in. Okay, so we're going to get into some topics today. We're going to really kind of unpack this area by area as we think about inside the plant, inside the functions of an operating uh, industrial manufacturing facility, and how you can utilize this moving forward. So the first area we're going to look at is purchasing. So now we know streamlining purchasing. Procurement processes is such a big deal. You know, we've talked to so many experts on the show from Kurt Anderson to, to Amanda Prochaska um, to, to, to really just understand how procurement is changing inside industrial manufacturing. And to achieve the, the ultimate efficiencies that the procurement part, departments are looking for, they need to have tools. They need to have these resources available at their fingertips in an e-commerce account management platform provides that. So let's think, let's think about a couple of things that would be very advantageous for you that are in procurement. How about finding and sourcing products? Okay. If you have a solution that you can log into or that you can, that integrates with your system, I really, we're really big on punch out at eco. So if you have questions on punch out solutions, let's, let's have a conversation there. You can easily search for products. You can compare prices. You can check availability without having to pick up the phone and call anyone. You can do this and really pick up some efficiencies. It's going to save you a lot of time. And it's going to help you make sure that the, pur the purchasing decisions that you're making in the moment are informed and they're efficient. There's nothing worse than, than, than trying to source a project and that you're going to, to buy these products to only to find out that, you know what, the pricing you have for a project is completely wrong. And not only that, they're not available for, for two months. You need to know this. You need to have that advanced knowledge. And these account management solutions give you that. Now, also pricing and quotes. 
This allows you to view real time pricing, real time in the moment. OK, that also allows you to request quotes and access negotiated rates, because if you as a purchasing agent working in industrial manufacturing have negotiated some special rates for your purchase and for your products that you're purchasing for your for your projects, you need access to that data, not list price. You need that data because this transparency, this this ability for you to see within account management platform what you have available to you, that's going to help you tremendously when it comes time to budgeting and ultimately cost control. And also for purchasing, think about your order history and tracking. That order history is huge in tracking as well. It's because you can detail, if you have an account management platform and solution, you can get access to detailed order histories. You can track those shipments. You can monitor your order statuses. So if you have people who are constantly coming to your office, what's my stuff coming in? What's my stuff coming in? You can go straight to your account management solution, see directly, okay, what the, the, oper- the current status is and update them without ha- having to uh, pick up a phone or call on anyone. Because this is really, if you're thinking about managing your inventory levels and trying to maintain those timely deliveries, this is a huge functionality. And these are just a couple of tools just a couple tools that help you in the purchasing department enhance your sourcing strategy. Okay. And you, and we know you have so many stresses against you and that's working against you in purchasing as well right now from what is the optimal stock level? And I got to ultimately reduce my procurement costs. Well, all these things are pretty big, hairy, audacious goals. We get it. So finding tools like account management solutions to help you get the data that you need to get to move your needle. And again, your electrical purchasing for, for you as a procurement manager may be somewhat small, but it's part of your overall number that you're managing. And if you can get a better handle on that, man, it's going to give you so much more sense of control and freedom. Okay. So now we've talked about purchasing and how they can utilize account management solutions. Now, let's talk about engineering because engineering also needs support designing and getting the correct specifications when they need it. Okay, so engineering teams, they're they're relying on very precise data and documentation that really is going to support their design. So if you have an e-commerce account management system, available to you as an engineer, this is a big deal. Because let's think about a few things that you have available to you right now. You have technical specifications and documentation right here. You have access to detailed product specs. You need a data sheet, guess what? Account management system's gonna give that to you. You need a manual, guess what? It's right there as well. Do you need to have uh, uh, the information to make the, the most informed decision? I guarantee you if it's a robust account management system, that information is going to be there. How about design? For you engineers who get down to the design level of a project, you need some CAD drawings. You need some 3D models. You need other planning tools. All this, if available from a manufacturer, are typically available within account management solutions. And then we all know how engineers, I'm, I, I'm one my, myself at heart, and I know how I like to do things. I like to compare. I want to understand what am I buying? Is this going to give me what I want? I also want to compare it to, to different products out there to see, is there a better solution available? Well, within a proper account management solutions, you can compare products directly. You could compare those very products and components, see what they do they meet the specs that you need for your project, or am I getting stuff that's just, it'd be nice to have, but it's not necessary. You need to know that. So these options for your projects, this is all available within account management solutions. Because we know a lot of engineers, you guys are out there and, and girls are out there and you're trying to figure out what do you need to put in your into your process to, to give you that, that advantage, right? To give you that that next level up so that you can, you can be able to beat your competitors and bring the most uh, robust product to the market. Well, having access to the data that you need from an electrical standpoint is huge, okay? And inside, inside account management solutions, such a big deal. All right, now. We talked about procurement and purchasing. We've talked about engineering. Now let's talk about logistics for a second because logistics is such a big deal inside manufacturing. Because if you want to enhance your order fulfillment and shipping management, you got to get your hands around this logistics deal, okay? Because this is such a critical role. You may be looking for a project and trying to move forward, but if you don't have the parts, you don't know how to get the parts and you're understanding where where the parts are, 
you're just going to be frustrated. So the logistic support within your industrial manufacturing facility is huge. And e-commerce account management systems do this for you. So you can have, check out with, with this, within the platforms, you have order expectations. So you can check out detailed order status updates, delivery times. You can help logistic teams plan their operations and manage the customer expectations. You go straight to your operation, your logistics manager, and they could be can log into an account management system looking specifically not for designing systems or, or, or checking pricing. They want to know how they should, should plan stuff out to make sure that the equipment has arrived and it's on site. It's where it needs to be for when the project can ha- begins, right? So this is such a big area for account management that often gets overlooked. It gets lumped in with purchasing often, and that's fine. But sometimes it's good to peel that capability out and give access to people in logistics so that they can understand that. They can get, they can get to, to a better feel for when the product's going to arrive because it takes resources, particularly for large projects to maybe you have a big line of motor control centers or, or switch gear or tons of breakers coming in. You're going to, it's going to take some resources just to simply unload that. You need to have that understanding of when you, when you can expect it. If you have it at your fingertips as a logistics manager, big deal. Now, also for logistics, shipping costs and options, because if you're a user inside of account management, you have an idea of what the shipping costs were. So uh, in, sip, in shipping methods and freight expectations and s- expenses and things like that. So if you're expecting something on FedEx, you'll be able to go check out your FedEx shipping. If you want UPS or, or different types of you, maybe it's a special LTD type trucking arrival. You have to have all of that right there available. And then ultimately with logistics, it will help you with inventory management. Because it's going to give you that real-time inventory data. So if you want to go see what the, your order history, where your stuff was, hey, as a logistics team, you want to be able to track that. You want to understand what your stock levels were. You need to anticipate some shortages. If you're in logistics and you have some, you see there's a potential shortage coming up, you probably want to make some people aware of that. And this is available within account management system, okay? Uh, all the way down to order and replenishment. So if you have a lot of tools available for you that your logistics teams could ultimately take advantage of. The first step is getting them access, getting them access to this so that they can understand how they potentially could help with that order fulfillment process, how they can reduce some shipping costs, how they can improve your customer satisfaction. Because at the end of the day, all these teams work together in one cohesive unit. Okay. Now, when it comes down to the end of the road, you have the orders that you've you've placed designed by the the engineers who making sure that the, the equipment is correct. Logistically, we've got to get the stuff there. But then once the stuff gets there, once the product arrives on site, we want to take care of our installation teams as well. This is an area that often gets overlooked. So having access to accurate and detailed information is crucial for successful equipment setup and configuration. Let's just be real. And these e-commerce account management systems, they offer you this. They help you with wiring and installation guides. So if I'm a, a technician, an ENI technician, and this brand new PLC has come in, and maybe this is my first or second time wearing one, it's been somewhat it's new for me, and I'm not real sure on, how, on the best way to do it, I want to have some access to some comprehensive guides. I want to know for a fact how to wire this up to make sure that I, I, I do it correctly. Hey, we have all this available within account management systems. How about troubleshoot, troubleshooting resources? Because there are troubleshooting resources that are available and within different manufacturers, you have these resources. But if you have the uh, the installers actually having access to account management, it's at their fingertip. And at the end of the day, it's all about product support because installers need to know who who they can reach out to for technical support. So if you have an account management system, you often have who your account managers are so far as numbers and emails for contact resources, as well as the the, the more advanced product management level. So if you want to get specific on, hey, I got a technical question. I need to to dive a little bit deeper than a traditional sales salesperson knowledge on on a product. You need to get to account manager, uh, to a product manager rather, inside account management systems, you'll see all that. You have all the information on who you need to talk to, okay? So again, great ways right here with account management that really enhance your your overall experience as an end user. And I want you to think about a couple other potential case studies for e-commerce solutions that that we haven't covered. Now, we've, we've gone through purchasing, we've gone through engineering, logistics, and installation. They're all very big areas. But how about customer service? 
How about just if you have a traditional customer service team? Because they need to have information on tracking. They need to have information on service requests. They need to have uh, a, a ability to impact their, your overall customer satisfaction. Customer service teams need to have access to this. Sales and marketing teams. They need to, to understand what marketing uh, uh, types of campaigns and information is out there for those products so they can potentially utilize them for upcoming projects that, they, that they're trying to sell. And they need to track sales performance. How about your finance teams? If they need to have invoicing and payment processing, and financial reporting, all that stuff available to them, you want to make sure with these e-commerce account management solutions, this is available. So as we think about things in the future, and we're very, you know, future-oriented at electrical equipment company, lots of investments going in to make sure we have robust systems and, and, and very the, the best of the best people in place to answer your questions. And there's lots of future trends, which are pretty interesting when you start thinking about how the whole industrial procurement world is changing. And we're going to talk about a few of those. I just want to just unpack just a couple of them for you because this rapid technological advancements is really changing a lot of expectations out there. And we see a couple of trends that are, are somewhat rising, and we want to be on the front edge, uh, front, front, the front end of this to share it with you because we know businesses change, operations change, and, and there's all about being competitive, interacting with your customers, and having that right competitive advantage. So a couple of things that, that we see potentially coming that, that could be impacting things in the very near future are artificial intelligence and machine learning. So just think about for a second, like predictive anal analytics, AI, you know, uh, this is giving you a lots of data to predict to predict future needs and trends that you have. So it can help you anticipate potential customer needs as well as your personal needs and help you optimize those inventory levels and really start getting specific. So uh, they can forecast demand based off of maybe seasonal history or historical data off of current market trends. All this stuff is available when you start introducing the concept of AI into your analytics, such a big deal. You can also, with potentially with this, some of this stuff, you can start automating some of your customer service item, items. If you're, if you're an industrial manufacturer and you're trying to, to cut your cost and trying to reduce costs the best you can, there are certain things like chatbots and virtual assistants. Are, they're very sophisticated. And when you tie that into direct support of, uh, of product and resources, that can really enhance some things for you. How about for you guys out there who are thinking about smart contracts? Because contract technology is changing. So you have these smart contracts now that are self-executing with terms and conditions directly written, written into them. And they can automate a lot of these processes in e-commerce, such as payment release and uh, delivery confirmation. Uh, and it kind of can eliminate some of those middle areas where this hold us up. And speed up the, trans the transactions, which we know that's such a big deal. Or we know the IoT, the, the industrial, the IIoT, rather, the industrial internet of things. We, it's all about real-time inventory management. So you have items out there right now, such as smart shells and RFID tags, that can give you real-time data on your current inventory levels. It's really cool how so, so much this technology is just absolutely coming down. It's impacting. It's hitting directly inside the, the, the plant storerooms, the plant floor, wherever you, the, 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 the product is stored directly. And it makes such a big deal. And it's all about reducing that stock out. Because I don't know about you, but it's, it's nothing worse than getting that phone call when they, they need a product. They're supposed to have a product on the shelf. They go to get the product. And guess what? There's none there. Because someone was, there was a step missed somewhere in the process where something was most likely grabbed. And usually it's not malicious. Most of the time the stuff is taken because the machine is down and we got to get it back up. We'll take care of the paperwork later. And guess what? We get it back up and then something else happens. And then something else happens. And then after those two or three something else's, you know, I forgot about reordering that product. It just happens. So if you have real-time inventory management that's part of your process using IIoT devices, you can eliminate some of that. This stuff is out there, okay? Then you have enhanced logistics and tracking. And when you have that stuff, these IoT sensors, they can monitor the condition and location of products during transit. I mean, it's really cool how some of this stuff is really is is, is revolutionizing the way stuff is being bought and, and so far is, is serving you. Another area to, to think about is augmented reality and virtual reality. 
I've played with some of this technology already in, out here in, in, in industrial manufacturing, and it's such a cool. But this this is go, this is such a, a, a cool technology because this is going to allow you to visualize products in your environment before you start making a purchase. So if you, for you engineers out there who are thinking through products and how products are going to work inside your facility, this can help you see a piece, how a piece of equipment. OK, what would, would, would fit on your plant floor, just like a piece of furniture would fit in your living room. Right. This is going to help you enhance that. It's so also there's lots of things out there from virtual showrooms that can give you uh, a 3D experience of what product is, of how the product is changing, how the product would work. It really takes that traditional e-commerce experience to a whole new level. And then when it gets down to the end of it, so, so much about advanced data analytics. If you can get customer insights and get performance metrics on the data that matters out of your system without having to pick up the phone, call anyone, just at your fingertips, that's going to give you such a competitive advantage over all your competitors. And when we start thinking about this, if you want to understand what your purchasing patterns are, what the preferences are, what the customer behaviors are, all this stuff, you can get that insight directly based off your system. And you can start getting some, some KPIs that you want to matter and make data-driven decisions. Okay, so if maybe you want to look at some sales trends or customer engagements or website traffic, and you can understand, okay, based off of this, maybe we need to be start stocking up on inventory here. Now, some of this stuff may sound as like science fiction and it's way far out there. I'm telling you, there's some, so much of this stuff's going to be hit manufacturer. It's already it has hit it in many places, but it's coming. And our team at Electrical Women Company, we're committed to walking with you on this journey. Because we, we know that you want a more connected, more robust sourcing experience. And that's why we're taking the time to really unpack this idea. And, uh, because we, we recognize there's so many advantages out there of account management for, for when you're thinking about your e-commerce solution. Because it's not just about online purchasing. That's a, that is a, uh, somewhat of a given. You got to have online purchasing, right? You need to have that. Take it to the next level. What can you do? outside of just having a, a, an account that's going to give you value. And this is what we were trying to unpack here today for you. Hopefully some, some aha moments were, were happening because if you have comprehensive tools and resources tailored to the purchasing, the engineering, the logistics, the installation teams, and all more that we talked about, then you'll be able to make better and more informed decisions and streamline those process. Ultimately, knock some costs out and do improve that efficiency and hopefully beat your competitors. So, but you have to embrace these technologies. You have to lean and start asking questions. Ask for demonstrations. Ask for, okay, I want to see eco. I want to see how your account management system, how that could help our engineering team. And I guarantee you, we're going to be on the spot ready to show you, to give you that experience for you customers out there who, who would like to have a, a more Robust experience with a e-com, well, not with the e-commerce, with a punch-out solution, to where you we, you have your entire system that you utilize inside your plant. Yet you'd like to have it connected directly to us, but you don't want to change that interface for what, the way the people inside your organization work. You want them to stay on their system. That's what punch-out's all about, and we have experts in place ready to help you in this area. So I'm telling you, lots and lots of things here. We'll actually put a link out here on this podcast for to, to go check out a blog that's associated with this as well as what we call our eco knowledge base this is an area we have lots of videos uh, where we put together how, the advantages of an account management solution how, what they can do for you particularly our account management solution to give you a little bit of insight to what this would look like for you directly so if you have questions or if you're a little bit you know inquisitive about this like to see more for yourself Highly, highly, highly encourage you to go check that out and see if this could be something that could serve you well. Okay. So anyway, give us a rating and review. Hopefully you're enjoying Eco Ask Why. We know the format's changed. We're we're still uh, plugging away and trying to just bring you value in everything that we do each and every week, uh, each and every month rather on the show, uh, as well as things on our YouTube channel. We have lots of YouTube shorts. We have videos that we put out there. We just really try to give you an enhanced uh, experience uh, of, of how we're trying to serve others. So if you're out there in industrial manufacturing or uh, one of our customers that that have, that are not utilizing some of our e-commerce solutions, we'd love to have a conversation. We'd love to chat with you. We'd love to just to, to see potentially how some of the things that we have, have built and are building could help you. 
could give you that leg up. So if you have questions, if you have uh, uh, or, or like to see directly what this will look like for you, let's have a conversation. So head over to Eco Online, connect with us, connect with your account management, account with the product manager, call the branch directly, whatever works for you. We'll set up a time. We can come out. We can even do virtual type of opportunities or engagements to show you what this will look like uh, from a system standpoint. So there's lots of resources in place. So if you're in the Southeast United States and you're listening to the Eco Ask Why and you're and you are not utilizing some of our our e-commerce platforms and solutions, we would love to have a conversation. Okay. So anyway, keep having a great day. Thank you so much. Please share this out with others, particularly for others in industrial manufacturing who think may would benefit from, from solutions like this. And we'd love to connect with you. So again, you, there's all sorts of links in the show notes for the resources we have available for you from Electric Equipment Company. So we'd love to hear from you and uh, just looking forward to seeing you next time. So thank you again for hanging out with us today. And remember just to keep asking why. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit ecosy.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com.